Yo, what's up, guys? This is Alex Rome reporting to you live from Baywood's house. What up, Jordan? What up, though? And today I got a project open. It's one of Jordan's projects. He wants me to help him out with it. I'm going to take this drop that we have here and just make it sound a little better. So there's a couple things that are out of whack here that we're going to... Uh... Damn, boy. Sorry, dude. Just being honest, Can dude. I watch? Yeah, sure. So there's a couple things here that I noticed are just need a little help. And one of which is the notes of the chords and the melody could be a little bit more strong. It's a little bit repetitive. Uh, some of the layers are not needed and other layers are going to need extra support in, you know, making some power happen. So if we listen to this. Oh yeah, you can't hear it. I know. Is that is that cool with you? No, it's fine. <laughs> I mean, right. I know what the song sounds like. <laughs> nice. All right, so this is what we got. So we have to. I'm just gonna touch on some of these layers, make them sound better, but we're gonna preserve his ideas without like getting rid of them. So first thing I noticed was that the third note and fourth note of the bass line make no sense compared to the first two notes down here, which he should have known, but he didn't. <laughs> I'm new at this. <laughs> so let's go T N go back to the pointer so this is the these are the notes we got right there that note wouldn't make sense in a progression so we're gonna go back up to that note and we can stick out this note here so the next thing we got to fix go T M. oops this is a house beat, my first house song. This is house? No, it's dubstep house. I don't know what it is, honestly. Yeah, I think it's just a. Uh, I don't think it's, it's house. It's a Baywood genre. It's Baywood, that's right. Just don't know so these right here, these chords follow his bass line, which is good. You always follow your bass line with your chords. And if you don't, there better be a good reason behind it and better still sound good. These weren't working. Although they were layered with the bass correctly, the uh, notes were off. Let's try to hit a different note here. Like that. Nice. So now what we could do is we could actually layer these and just kind of help them out. So whenever you have a sound like this that's a big sound, help it out with some layers. And it's always good to add a little bit of movement. So we're going to do that as well. So let's go into Serum and we're going to rough these up a little bit. Are these OTT'd? They are. OTT'd to hell. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Sorry, dude. <laughs> I'm a shitty producer, I don't know. <laughs> I'm a horizontal worker. That's hilarious. <laughs> right, let's take this right here. I want to side chain these together as like a pair package deal. And I want to take this base actually and put it here. So, what we're going to do now is before we sidechain let's add a little bit of reverb what reverb does with to pads is it kind of connects them all 
in its own special way but you don't want to add too much reverb to these pads because remember your lead's going to have reverb on it if you got too much reverb on the pads then and you got a lot of reverb on the leads then they're going to crash into each other you don't want that to happen So that's sounding somewhat full. Let's go ahead and grab Fab Filter Pro C2, and I'm gonna side chain this to the kick because it is not side chained, and these are way too flat. So anytime you have a sound, oh well, now it's side chained. But anytime your sound is too flat, just add movement to it by side chaining it, panning it, tremolo. Anything you can do to add a little bit of movement, like you're, you're rock solid on fire. See, like that, nothing's bad about that. It just sounds cooler. So let's go ahead and let's unlock his kick. Let's go, uh, so we got that down the center. Uh, hey, what's up, man, with the beer? Hold on. making a YouTube video right now. Oh, I'm sorry. It's all good, dude. Here you go. I love it. Thanks a bunch, man. No <laughs> beer delivery. <laughs> all right, so now what I'm going to do is... Is I'm gonna spread this second layer because we already have the first layer down the center and to have both layers down the center that's cool but it's not really gonna you want to take advantage of having that second layer so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spread this second layer a little bit just like that just to make it like super wide and Let's mute these now because we don't need these. And we're going to move on to other sounds. Let's go hit up this snare. That sounds good. All right, so now what I want to do is I want to focus in on the lead. In your drop, your lead carries all your power, and it's the biggest thing to kind of emphasize on getting right. So we got a layer here, then we got this layer. So I want to take this one, and this one's bone dry. So if we play this, why does it sound like it's coming? Yeah, wait, we have a, uh, we have another, we have another one somewhere, where is that, it's right here. Alright, so here we go guys, right here, we got this lead, we're going to emphasize this lead now. We have a nice layer that has a good purpose, but it's just not big enough, it's not doing enough things, it's not noisy enough. So we're going to add reverb to this, to kind of give it purpose and character. Hello? Let's do that and let's add a little bit of, come on, get down here. Let's add a little bit of delay. <laughs> not even lying I turned that lamp on like 20 minutes ago and he told me it was broken and it just came on right now that's pretty scary so we got some delay I thought it was alternating pen 
not to mention that sounds like really really bad wow All right, we're sounding better. We're sounding better. Uh, these are still out of whack. These sound good. These, since I already have the lead in the center of the pan, think of mixing right now, guys. We're going to move these around and move them out of the center at certain points so that the lead could do its thing in the center of the mix. So let's go grab a tremolo. And we can have that dance around our, around our head like that. If you have good speakers, you're going to be able to hear that. If you have shitty speakers, you won't be able to hear that. Oh, that one's wrong. we need we need another layer of bass that we could actually hear like that one that we just had soloed but the purpose of this one is gonna be strictly sound so this is gonna be the bass that fills up that 200 frequency range where's the saw I'm having like a dumb moment there we go there we go. It took me a second <laughs> to get on track there. Let's grab this. I hate distortion on saw waves. There we go. On saw bases. I like these to be pure because they're already messy enough. You don't want to overdo these. All right, so we're clicking a little bit. I hate that clicking sound. So let's go into our EQ here. We already have a sub bass, so we can cut the sub bass out of this. All right, so let's go ahead and grab this. Man, I really don't like that. I hate this delay so much. Let's just go to a... Uh, I didn't want to do this, but I'm going to use Waves H Delay. I try not to use too many... I want to try not to use too many third-party plugins as much with you guys. Because I know not all of you have the same plugins as me. But for the delay plugin, like, come on. Come on, give me, you gotta give me a break here. I just looked that way, I thought the camera was that way. <laughs> so let's grab that and shorten up the tail. And let's grab this OTT, put it after that stuff. And now what we could do is we could sidechain this with another third party plugin. But I really, I can't use Logic's plugin to sidechain it anymore. I just gave up on that. It doesn't sidechain hard enough for me. Like, they're good for sidechain and hip hop, but not, uh, EDM, you want something strong. I do not like all that delay at all. So I don't want to use that layer, but I do want to utilize some of his layers here. 
So I'm going to take this all. Oh, how am I going to do this? Let's take that. Grab his layer here. Go T and click. And then we should have our samples on this MIDI. Yeah, now they have all of my uh, plugins on it too. So we're going for it, boys. Alright, so now there's a couple more things that's out of whack with this, and that is the white noises. He has all these white noises kind of aimlessly thrown about the mix, and you want to just pile your white noise on top because that's what people do. Uh, what you want to do with white noise is rhythmically throw it on there. Never ever forget that because a lot of people mess this up, including myself. Your white noise has to follow the energy. So the energy to me is in the vocal chop. So it goes na 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 na. So you want to follow those with the white noise. And these are following like a house drop. Listen to this, or like whatever drop would have like this kind of energy. This one's more like na 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 na. Whereas these white noise layers are following something that's like na 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 something like that so like the energy is weird you gotta speak to the energy man dude i can't do it where is it wait hold on these i forgot to eq the delay signal on this it's sounding like trash over here got these weird white noise so let's get rid of these every white noise in the hole get rid of that get rid of that that oh wait a second I think I messed that one up and then get rid of that get rid of all that or take that and yeah um he had some hi-hats but they are not not happening with all that white noise there that is white noise dirt so that can't happen. So let's go get a crash symbol and we're gonna crash on top of every time that kick happens with the, what am I trying to say here? Every time the kick happens with the vocal chops because that's where the energy is. So let's go to symbol, do 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 do, do 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 do. Yeah, like that. So let's grab this one. I usually don't like this one for doing these crash symbol. Yeah, these like drop crash symbol things. But I'm just gonna use it for now. I, I used to like because it's very raspy, it's very big and wide. But the the sound of this symbol is very sharp. And I have trouble mixing it sometimes. So let's take that and let's get one more open hi hat to replace to replace his shitty hi hat that he had. So let's take this. So we're just gonna kind of throw it on here. And hopefully Jordan in the future will figure out how to write a hi-hat line. He's not in here right now. I could talk shit. <laughs> Let's uh go like that. Always have your thing on absolute value because then things like this happen. See that? 
Not with my OCD, no. Mm -mm. See that? Nope. Yeah. And because we have all that openness in between each of these like hits, so like you see all the energy happens like right here, right here, right here. And so you have these big holes and as a producer you should know you gotta fill those holes. Some holes are cool, <laughs> but uh you wanna you wanna fill in those gaps. So like this one, I can fill in this one easily right here. Like that. I don't like that one. There we go. This one, uh, hi hat, we can spread this. Just like that we tidied up a drop it has a lot more power and it's in better shape for him to keep working on it add some layers fill in those gaps right here in your drops and if you're gonna take something from this video it would uh, I think it should be to not overcomplicate anything he had a bunch of layers on this lead that weren't really doing anything they were all just kind of like one layer was here one layer was there um, but they were kind of all the same layer so I minimized that down to two layers and just added more effects to it so he was overcompensating by over layering when he could have just added the appropriate effects here to make this actually sound good you know get get the potential out of your lead sounds before you go ahead and layer them this thing right here don't have too many leads in the center of the mix you can totally have some leads panning in and out of your ears just to keep things interesting. And so down here, layer your pads. Like when if you do big powerful drops like this, then you want to layer your pads and make sure each pad layer has a purpose. Like some pads are wide, some are down the center, and so on and so forth. And we layered our bass a couple times too. So we did a lot in this drop, so you guys were able to take a bunch of value from what I did here. If you guys enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Check out my website, alexromsound.com, for my lessons, courses, sample packs, and much more. Not too much more. <laughs> Let me see your thoughts in the comments section too, guys, and subscribe here if you're new. Peace out.